Yo, what up guys? Kevin Grant back again and I'm here to share some more what I like to call mental fitness with you guys. So today we're going to read from uh, Resurrection by Neville Goddard. Resurrection by Neville Goddard. And um, this is page 70. Uh, at the top of the page, the oneness of God. The oneness of God. So once again, guys, if you're new to this channel, uh, just realize that I share information that helps you to um, experience the things you do wish to experience in life, the final things in life, basically, basically to accomplish your goals and desires. So, Neville writes, one day man will realize that his own I amness is the God he has been seeking throughout the ages and that his own sense of awareness, his consciousness of being, is the one and only reality. The most difficult thing for man to really grasp is this, that the I amness in himself is God. It is his true being or father state, the only state he can be sure of. The son, his conception of himself, is an illusion. He always knows that he is, but... That which he is, is an illusion created by himself, the Father, in an attempt at self-definition. This discovery reveals that all that I have believed God to be, I am. I am the resurrection and the life, is a statement of fact concerning my consciousness. For my consciousness resurrects or makes visibly alive that which I am conscious of being. Basically, what Neville is saying that when you say when you say I am or I say I am, our consciousness is that I am, that I amness, that's God. I am the door. He's not saying he is the door, but he's saying that I am, that awareness, that I amness within each and every one of us is the door. I am the door. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Shows me that my consciousness is the one and only entrance into the world of expression. That by assuming the consciousness of being or possessing the thing which I desire to be or possess is the only way by which I can become it or possess it. That my attempt to express this desirable state in ways other than by assuming the consciousness of being or possessing it is to be robbed of the joy of expression and possession. I am the beginning and the end reveals my consciousness as the cause of the birth and death of all expression. I am hath sent me reveals my consciousness to be the Lord which sends me into the world in the image and likeness of that which I am conscious of being, to live in a world composed of all that I am conscious of. I am the Lord, and there is no God beside, beside me, declares my consciousness to be the one and only Lord, and beside my consciousness there is no God. Once again, Neville is not talking about just himself. When he say, I am, He's talking about when you say I am, when I say I am, when everyone says or thinks or feels I am. For example, if you are feeling or thinking I am broke, then that's your I amness. But you can change that I amness and to begin to speak that I am wealthy. Right? So understand that I amness, that awareness of being, that consciousness of feeling or being or thinking a certain state produces that state in your physical experience, all right? So, let me back up a little bit. Be still and know that I am God means that I should still the mind and know that consciousness is God. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. I am the Lord. See, I am. The Lord, that inner awareness, that I amness, I am the Lord. That is my name. I am, I am. Now that you have discovered your I am, your consciousness 
to be God. Do not claim anything to be true of yourself that you would not claim to be true of God. For in defining yourself, you are defining God because you are that. That which you are conscious of being is that which you have named God. God and man are one. Understand that. You and your father are one. Your unconditioned consciousness, or I am, and that which you are conscious of being are one. Let's go back to that again. Your unconditioned consciousness, whatever you are conscious of, your, well, your unconditioned consciousness, that awareness, or your I am, that I am. When you sit back and still the mind and you feel that, and you sense that awareness, that consciousness, that I am. All right? Your unconditioned consciousness, or I am, and that which you are conscious of being, are one. So if you're conscious of being poor, you are that. Because you can only be, do, experience, and have what you are conscious of being, doing, experiencing, or having. All right? If your conception, okay, the conceiver and the conception are one. If your conception of yourself is less than that which you claim as true of God, you have robbed God, the Father. Because you, the Son, or conception, bear witness to the Father or conceiver. Do not take the magical name of God, I am, in vain, for you will not be held guiltless. You must express all that you claim yourself to be. Name God by consciously defining yourself as your highest ideal. I encourage you to get this book by Neville Goddard. The title is Resurrection. So that's some powerful information right there. And once again, guys, I call this stuff mental fitness. You can call it what you want to call it. That's just what I call it. So I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. My information will be below in the description. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the bell icon so you know when I upload my next video. And also, I'm into fitness, health, um, anything that helps you get better relationships. I just share information. I point you. If I don't know the information or I have a, um, a difficult time explaining it to you, then I'll point you to books and resources that will help you understand it more clearly. That's what I do. I help you find information or I share information with you to help you become better. So my information is below. I'll put information to uh, my Beachbody Fitness website below also. But please don't forget to share this information with somebody that you know can definitely benefit from it. Thank you. And God bless. I am is everything. Bye-bye.